You know, Ben's Bells was founded with the idea that we all can be a little bit kinder, and that includes our kids. Camp Kind makes its return this summer, and your child is invited. Laura Gronwald and Amy Collinsworth are here to tell us all about it. Lee, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Can I say I'm super excited that this is coming back. Uh, so if somebody doesn't really know about it, what is Camp Kind? Camp Kind is a really fun half day experience for kids uh, in elementary school um, and they're going to work with an experienced educator, one of our favorite educators on our Kind campuses, Ben Collinsworth, and he will lead three different groups of kids at three different age levels through crafts and activities and all related to the theme of kindness and how we can all be more kind to each other. Oh, I love this there love, love, That's love. him. Yes. <laughs> I'm assuming there is a uh, connection here. Yeah, he's my husband. Oh. But he's also a teacher in one of our um, kind campus schools in the Flowing Well School District, Emily Mescher. So he's an early childhood educator, and he's really, one of the things that's great is he's really familiar with our curriculum. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy for him to step in and do it. And so we're really feeling like it's a fun continuation into the summer of what we do during the school year. And we're really excited to do it because we've had a lot of people ask us when we're doing it mm -hmm. again and request it, so. Is that kind of why we brought it back? Yeah, people, okay. people have definitely wanted it, yeah. And I know we kind of listed some of the things, crafts and different mm -hmm. stuff, and we're intertwining kindness somewhere in there. And I love mm -hmm. that we're kind of taking a little bit of education, a little bit of teaching them how to be kind, but it's all fun, so the yeah. kids don't know really It's still learning. summer, so we exactly. want to have fun. Right, yeah. there will be no homework. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we all refer to Mr. Ben as yeah. Mr. Ben, which is what his yeah. kids call him, and it's just the perfect name for him. And he's so great at making all that kind yeah. of stuff fun. Mm -hmm. um, so not only are the kids going to be inspired by him, um, they're going to be connecting with with each other, they're yeah. going to be working together, but they'll have time age appropriately to do their own crafts and they're going to get up and move around. So it's really going to be a great experience for them. Yeah. And I know we're talking about this. Do we know a little bit more about the activities yet or? Well, they'll definitely be working with clay. Yeah. Um, and so they'll be working with kindness coins and some of the other things that Mr. Oh. Ben will lead them through. Um, and they will do crafts that will have coloring and gluing things together, all yeah. the kind of stuff that we love doing at that mm -hmm. age. Oh yeah. There'll probably yeah. be some glitter. <laughs> I don't know. He's a little anti-glitter. Anti uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll try and work in at least some green glitter. We yes. have green. But yeah, and a lot of just different activities, story time, um, whatever we can do outside is going to be hot. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's good. It takes place at our studio. So we have access to all the art stuff that Ben's Bells does anyway. Yeah. So that'll definitely be a big part of it. And you know, we're talking about the kids, but I kind of want to just put this out on the table just in general for all of us. For Let's just take a moment and close our eyes and think, why is kindness so important? Let's leave everybody with that. Well, I think um, kindness is important just for our everyday life. That's the thing we try and talk about, intentional kindness and infusing it into your everyday life. And I think that that's the most important thing for us to think about, not those acts of kindness that we talk about, you know, those big gestures, just being kind all the time, being a kind person. And in relation to children, you're modeling behavior for them too, and modeling behavior for other adults who might be a kindness challenge for you. Yeah. So. yeah. We talk about those moments sometimes. It's when we ask kids, when is it hard to be kind? They always say, my sibling, my cousin, yep. they won't let me use the PlayStation. But for adults, sometimes it's people that we interact with a yep. lot that can push our buttons. Mm -hmm. and, and yet we want to rise to that occasion and, and give them the consideration and the kindness that we would like ourselves. Yep. Um, so it really, um, it gives you a common language to talk differently about everything that's going on in your life, uh, from your family to schools to yeah. workplaces. And uh, we also like to say we're all in it together. And we yep. know that there's something special about Tucson because we have kindness and Ben's Bells here. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I every time I see the Ben's Bell Be Kind uh, sticker, I know that it's infectious, it's throughout the community. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remind them one more time when this uh, Camp Kind is going to happen. But ladies, thank you so much for thank spreading you. the kindness. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> we're happy to be <laughs> thank here. Thank you as well. <laughs> now, Ben's Bells Camp Kind is taking place June 12th through the 30th. For more information, give them a call at 622-1379 or visit bensbells.org slash camp dash kind.